She said she feels like I raped her. My girlfriend told me to keep going when she tries to push me off. Now she says she feels like I R word her. We've been together for 7 months. Sometimes while we're having sex she tries to push me off. She told me it's because she gets overwhelmed and it's just a reflex. I always stop when she does that. Recently she literally told me to ignore her and keep going when she does that. Yesterday I did exactly what she told me to do. And kept going. Now she's saying she feels like I R word her. She says she needs space and time to process what happened. So now I'm really confused. I didn't do anything wrong and she's making it seem like I did. I've honestly been considering breaking up with her over this. She is not mentally ready for a relationship. It's healthier for both of you to break up. She's going to add unneeded mental stress on you. While she's clearly not over whatever trauma she has. Break up. It's better for both of you. Especially after only 7 months. This is why safe words exist but fr your gf has issues with communication. Not your fault you did what she asked. She's not ready for an intimate relationship. Don't initiate with her anymore and have a chat about what you both want out of the relationship. And if it's too different then maybe you should consider whether to continue the relationship. You should be with someone who genuinely wants to have sex with you. Two approaches. Break up or use a safe word. I faced something similar with a previous girlfriend. It came to a point where sex took on more of a mental toll than the fun it was. People might judge me for this. But I broke up with her. And that's what I'd suggest you to do. You run now bud, and never look back. Break up with her over it. Something, is not right here. Break up with her. Immediately. Avoid any future contact after that point. Assuming she doesn't file rape charges and assuming you stay together. My advice? If she stops you by word or gesture, or even vibe, then stop. Ignore all requests to ignore her. She stops you. You stop. I don't know this chick and I'm already terrified of her. I would break up with her because she has just shown you that her words can't be trusted and then wants to throw serious accusations at you. That is not cool and quite frankly dangerous for you. I knew a girl like this in college and I can tell you confidently you need to run. Record your conversation with her that it's not rape. It was all consensual. Break it off and move on. I don't think you guys should break up from my first opinion. But it definitely needs to be talked about. You need to sit down with her and bring up how she told you to ignore that. And that you did exactly what she said but it turned out to be a problem. If she told you to ignore it, it's not rape. If she doesn't understand that then maybe it is time for the relationship to part while you guys work on yourselves. Break up you don't wanna be in jail lol no offense. She confused you and now you don't trust her. Trust is hard to rebuild. A relationship without trust will be hard to continue. Break up or get some help for her. It's only been 7 months and this is happening she's either not ready or been through trauma maybe. It sounds like she needs to talk to someone. Oh please. Dump her. Before you end up with your life ruined from a rape allegation. You both missed the mark on how to go about ignoring her, trying to stop you. Intimate play that involves agreed upon rules such as, if I tell you to stop. Or try to push you off of me. You're allowed to ignore me, requires a safe word so that when she's legitimately serious about. Needing it to stop. She can use a word other than no for you to understand you need to stop. Now that it's already happened without a safe word. All you can do is tell her you're sorry that it didn't turn out how either of you wanted. 
and that you both need to discuss how she can communicate her needs better instead of you just guessing. Honestly for your own safety you should break it off. It's past the point of using a safe word. You risk losing your freedom. If you decide to keep dating. With a label of being called a rapist. This is pretty much consensual non-consent and sometimes can bring back repressed memories. Being touched as a child. Etc. You didn't rape her. Yet mentally she may feel like it was rape. Ask her to search for help because for sure there is some unresolved trauma. I would break up over this. This is too complicated. This way. It is very difficult to be intimate and not run the risk of her feeling raped or you being accused of it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.